Welcome to another edition of Dazarian Plays MMOs. Today I'm in Final Fantasy XIV, and uh, I'm on my level, what am I on, 40 Paladin. Uh, but we're going to do a level 35 dungeon called the Sunken Temple of Karn. Uh, this dungeon is not on the main storyline quest, which a lot of them have been up to this point. Uh, you have to actually go out and get get this one from an individual quest giver. Uh the reason that is is because this one's a little more complicated a little more different in fact i've heard it said this is like the pug killer uh because it's a little more complicated than some of the stuff up to this point uh, i haven't played this dungeon yet so i'm very likely to die but i have watched a guide so hopefully maybe i can help the group if they don't know but hopefully they'll know and i'll just be tagging along let's take a look at the uh description under the unforgiving Thanalan sun lies the ruins of an ancient temple half devoured by the shifting sands of, of a timeless desert. Though used by ancient Beladins as a place to worship the sun goddess, Azima, portions of the massive underground structures appear to be far older than the sixth astral era civilization. That, however, did not deter Beladin uh, sultans from each adding their own chambers to the original construct in a bid to achieve immortality through through creation in the subsequent years since the fall of Belida, many an adventurer has sought to explore the temple's mysterious and perhaps return with treasure of a lost error only to fall victim to one of the complex traps set to prevent the very thing from happening so i'm gonna join the queue for this um i'm in the middle of the week uh at night so i don't know how quickly this will pop especially since uh this one is one of the more difficult ones so let me pause here until we actually find a group and that actually only took a couple of minutes so uh they are popping really quick uh, it's been very nice uh since the latest expansion has dropped there's been a lot of people on lots of queues popping very quickly um i'm though i don't plan on pausing much of this so there may be some times when this doesn't uh it's not very exciting, but it seems like everybody enjoys longer episodes uh, and likes seeing the whole dungeon if possible. So that's what we're going to do. And like I said, it's very possible I could die quite a bit. Uh, unless my group kills the bees, which I'm going to be hammering home. Uh oh, start up with Sam. I guess. One or more of the party members. I hope that's me. <laughs> and not others. And we're going to start out with some uh, temple bats. Like I said, I am playing on my paladin, so I need to pop my shield oath there so I can get a lot of good healing. Looks like I've got a, uh, what is that, a summoner. I always have to look. Oh, a scholar. We have a. I don't know what that other one is, and then we've got a red mage, which I've enjoyed having the red mages lately. They uh, they seem to keep the group going really at a good clip. One of the bats does not have aggro. So the way I tell aggro is uh, over here on the left-hand side where it's got all the creatures listed. The the ones with red boxes are the ones that have aggro to me. Uh, and I like to keep them turned toward me. That way everybody else can keep them occupied. Just like that. And everybody's going to go this way. <laughs> Good. So everybody else is going to know how to do this. I won't have to worry about it. That's the way I like it. I'm a pretty good leader when I know what's going on, but uh, I do not know what's going on at this time. So... Looks like I got aggro. So 
I'm good to go. Everybody's attacking the bat, so we'll do that. I'd like to throw in a little extra aggro, just uh, since we're about to kill and do another one. Like, And I don't know if this is good form. I... I haven't studied up enough to know in Final Fantasy XIV what's the best practice, but in general, if I grab aggro at the beginning, then I'm, you know, like, after each mob dies, I'll go ahead and throw up a flash just to make sure I have that extra aggro going, uh, you know, unless something pops and then, you know, we have to scurry to find it. And uh, they're grabbing a fragment over there. We need those uh, toward the end. So you can see there's a Temple B over there. And that's an extremely bad guy. They've got, apparently, a on death. A thing that needs to be destroyed immediately. Because on death, they can cast a uh, spell that basically takes up 90% of your health or something like that. Something crazy. Uh, which means, for me, <laughs> since I'm most likely going to have aggro, uh, that I will die. So they need to burn that sucker down as quickly as they can before it throws up that spell. And this little temple head uh, comes into play more later on. Uh, and you'll see that in some of our later boss fights. But these guys are burning down fast. So actually, we may not I may not die. Uh, we may get through this pretty quickly. And he runs away because that's the way it works. But somebody's... Are we going to chase? I don't think we need to chase that, guys. Oh, my God. Where are they going to? All right. They stopped. But we got to make sure we get this B here. And burn it down. So, no problems with the bees so far. Uh, it's this first boss fight that really gets most pugs, they say. Uh, just because people aren't expecting it to be that bad. So, up to this point, the duties have been pretty easy, actually. You know, they've just been tank and spank for the most part. Maybe a few little mechanics here and there, like the, the nail spike and all that kind of stuff. But... Nothing too dramatic. Here they get a little more complicated. There we good. We're good. So, speaking of, Tyria Tour is our first one. Are we all good guys? Wait, I'm not I'm not going in until I can see everybody. Maybe they were picking up another stone. Okay, let's do this thing. Now, this guy also, so I'm going to have to zoom out here. I don't really like playing at zoomed out levels, but there's a lot of stuff that's going to happen here. Um, making sure I've got aggro on him. So there are going to be bees coming out. So an auroratory tameful something will be sealed up. Oh, okay. It's just this, this area is going to be sealed up. He also cast a uh, debuff. So here's like some... So 
that died quick. I've still got him on aggro, so I'm gonna go ahead and just make sure one more last time. He's got a debuff, and whenever that happens, you can see these little plates on the floor. One of them is gonna light up, and if it lights up, see there, that's the debuff. So now when that lights up, we can go over to this one to remove the debuff. Just like that. I got those aggroed. We got the debuff again. You can see that thing happens. This debuff is really quick. I think I'm doing that right. Actually, I don't even know, honestly. I don't see the... where my debuffs are. Where are my debuffs? And there's no bees here yet. Uh, maybe they've calmed this down since uh, that guy. It's not as buff as it used to be, or bad as it used to be. Healers are kicking ass. Everybody's just kicking ass. Like, that was easy. Very nice. Greet us a hat and move on through the dungeon. So that wasn't bad at all. The guy that I saw just was making it sound much worse than he was. Damn it, I got two of them. My taunts are very strong, you can tell, just because very hard for me to lose aggro on these guys once I have them. You know, even with all of the spells that these guys are burning through, I mean, they're just not losing them at all. So that's, I think, the true strength of the Paladin is just how strong his taunts are. So you can see this was kind of showing us that we need to make sure that we keep this stone on the door, on that pad. See, by doing that, if we kill him on this door, or on this pad, the door will stay open whenever he dies. Uh, so it's kind of teaching you the uh, mechanics here. See, he falled on the door, the sealed door is open, and we have two more to fit. But, no door, uh, I don't think there's any pad, oh yeah, there are, okay. So I need to move one, I need to move him over here. Just like that. We kill one. I don't care which one, guys, just kill one. This one right here. I think I'm going to take the damage, that way he doesn't move. So you can see as the tank, I'm actually having to uh, do a little bit here this time. I'm actually determining where the mob is, and that's a very important part of this. Uh, that way we can make sure we keep these doors opened like we are supposed to. Otherwise, you just got to keep going and they uh, keep respawning. Until you do that. And we need that because they've got more of these stones here, which open some uh, final areas into the game. Oh, I lost aggro. I guess I'll grab this since... 
Everybody else has already moved on. I don't think it really matters who grabs those things most of the time. The keys or stones or whatever they may be. Uh, most of the time it doesn't matter. So this looks like it level sinks us down to 37, which is not bad. But not too far off my current level. I'm going to have to level this guy up some more where I can get some more dungeon swords to go through. Uh, if you've made it this far in the video, make sure you are uh, commenting and making sure that hitting that like button and subscribed if you haven't already. I'm actually getting close to a thousand subscribers. Um, which is really cool. I didn't think I'd get this far on the channel. So if I can get a thousand, there's a lot of things that unlock on my channel. So it would be really cool if you haven't yet, if you could subscribe for it and help me out. Oh yeah, i got to grab the flame of magic and that guy did it. So that's good. So now, how do we... Oh, over here, I see. This guy likes to walk. Death Claw. All right, guys, I'm going in. You can walk all you want, but I'm going. Where's the other? Oh, I started to say there's a face somewhere, but I couldn't find him. I think it's that one that ran away, actually, <laughs> and he just now came back. to the lower levels. Wall crawlers. So I always throw that shield blob at out to like get that initial aggro of at least one of the mobs and whenever they all come in that's when I flash them. I don't know if that's what everybody does or not. Again, I've not watched anybody else aggro and or play paladins of this game, so I really don't know um, how other people do it. I'm just that's how I do it. So if I'm doing something wrong or you got some more suggestions, please let me know in the comments. I always open to suggestions and. Uh, information because I I really am a noob despite how much I play MMOs on my channel and everything else I'm really still just a noob and my friends like to call me out on that too Now that was a little messy. I would have liked to have done that a little bit cleaner than I did. Uh, that guy was just all over me. Now this one, I think, is fairly simple. I think we just pretty much burned down the soul stone here. There's a guardian, which is... Uh, so it's the guardian and then his soul stone like in his chest that actually gives him life. And uh, we're just burning down the soul stone. We don't even care about the guardian itself. So far, this group's been awesome. Again, they know what they're doing, so it makes it so much easier. So you can see his chest is opened up now that we've destroyed that soul stone. And it doesn't look like he can do anything, but I think he is going to explode or something here in the end. Uh, 
Oh, he got his soul stone back. And you can see I still have aggro. Uh, if you're watching my aggro counters over here, I still have aggro. Uh, but this is just part of his movement and mechanics is that he'll randomly choose or just choose a squishy of some sort and go after him. And there's nothing I can do about it. It's just part of the mechanics. You can see like there, I still have aggro, but he chose one of them. So it does no good to chase him whenever he does that. It's just to stand your ground, let him go through and do his thing. Hopefully they get out of the way. Again. Except this time the soul stone is there. I needed to grab aggro of the soul stone. Pulling back just a little ways away from that guy's pet. There we go. And he turns to grab aggro again. Yeah, he's taking a long time to burn down, though. Very cool. No longer sealed. Pair of linen tights, so we'll breed those. And move on. Yeah, we'll grab this one. These condemned seem to be all by themselves. We only have the final boss to go, so we're getting really close, actually. I do enjoy tanking so much. I've loved it ever since WoW, uh, which was really the first game where they had the kind of well, EverQuest did have did have the Trinity in there as well, but I didn't play much EverQuest. So, WoW was really my first exposure to that because previous to that, I played Asheron's Call, which didn't have classes like that, and it didn't have provokes. Uh, everybody could be a healer. Everybody could be anything they wanted. Actually, Asheron's Call was just revolutionary on so many skills. There's not been another game like it, but. Um, so WoW was my real exposure to tanking, and uh, ever since that time, I've loved it. I love being uh, semi in charge of the group, or at least that I can set the pace. It's not that you're necessarily in charge, but you can definitely set the pace as the main tank. Uh, and especially in WoW, that was essential, you know, because you'd run a dungeon a million times, and uh, you wanted to get through it, and not wait on everybody else to decide what to do. So if your tank went in, you went and did it. And that's what I liked. <laughs> I liked setting the pace. Being a little bit in control, even if you're not. Because ultimately, anybody could go off and do whatever they want and destroy the whole group. Uh, but you can push everybody. Uh, it's not so much here right now. Oh, I lost aggro. Uh, it's not so much in Final Fantasy yet. Like, everybody's staying up with full mana and everything else. And that's usually, especially in WoW, that's what you always had to be careful of. And EverQuest. Um, you had to be careful of making sure that everybody was had enough mana to survive the next fight. Uh, and nobody was seriously injured. So 
So, we got that right. Very nice. Just really no problems up to this point. You can see we're on the other side of that little barrier that we went on. So we've made it around. Am I doing something wrong or is everybody... I sort of say, it doesn't seem like everybody's waiting or going in with me. So we got another pedestal here. I saw some other mobs come in, but I did. I hope we got that. Did we not? Are you kidding me? Good grief. So that's, that's what happens if you don't keep them on the pedestal. So, there we go. <laughs> that was pretty ridiculous. Now we also have to do these pedestals here. And if you look, is that, uh, I don't know what that is. Yeah, I don't know what these symbols mean. But I don't know which ones go which. Oh. Nope. Okay. Sorry. I'll go on then. Not there. All right. I hate being the noob in a group like this because <laughs> you know, it's obvious they know what we're doing. So I'll just leave them alone and let them do their thing. So I've got a whole bunch of items this time now. But it looks like I got them all. As far as aggro is concerned. So what was you guys' favorite uh, tanking game? Is it... What? What? Wow. I wasn't even paying attention. I didn't know I was getting burned down that fast. That was just way too many mobs, wasn't it? Should I... Surely... These guys are going to res me. It's quite a long run back, right? Unless they die too. I should have... Threw up my... Covalescence and... Ramparts. Like, I could have... I could have prevented that if I was paying attention. I always feel bad when I did that. Except. Let her get some healing on me. Pop my Covalescence. And try to grab the aggro.
Yeah, that was just too many mobs. But our healer kicks ass, so that was worked out well. Wow. So we got a left pan and a right pan, the scales of judgment. I don't know which one goes which or what we're putting there. I'm going to let them do it because I have no idea. Might and knowledge. Uh, fire, fruit. So, yeah. They're putting fruit and fire over here. And that opens the door. Helm of Might. Ah, cool. Aha, final boss. Huh, look at that guy. All right, so now it's just a combination of all the mechanics we've done up to this point. For me, it's going to be mainly tank and spank, I think. Uh, where there is going to be some things drop here, so we're going to have to some stone we're going to place on this. like that, so I left him. You can see there's these mithril verge here. Uh, those also need to be destroyed, otherwise uh, there's a... Uh, they start like doing these laser beam things. Oh no, did we not get it right? Yeah, you see how it's like throwing this half down. And they're killing those things really quickly, so uh, they're not giving much of a problem at all. See it threw up some kind of box or something about the box. Uh, like if it establishes that box and you can't kill it. And there we just got. Did we get all get a debuff on that? And we did. The, they cured it really quickly. You can see like somebody went straight into the box and you kill it. Yeah, because I think. Like, see, I, I can't get into the box now. Uh, so when it gets that box up, you have to like get into it really quick so you can destroy this thing. That's a light show. Yeah, so for me, it's mainly a turn and burn. Now there's two of them. They each got inside the box, so they're going to be able to burn them down. Nice. Take the time to leave a little. Ooh. 
Wow. I was incorrect. We did not die at all. I got my next level. Wow, that was just really good. Um, very happy we got through that so quickly uh, without die. I mean, I died once, but uh, that's okay. You know, don't forget to go into the treasure room if you haven't been there before. Wait. I think it counts toward map completion. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, I don't I don't know. I don't know where he means. So I might have to look around for that. Hey, uh, we're going to go ahead and wrap this video up here. I hope you enjoyed this. That was a really fun dungeon. Uh, glad I got to do that. Glad I had such a great group. And I'm glad you guys joined along with me. If you enjoyed this, make sure you hit the thumbs up button. Leave any comments that you may have. And as always, if you haven't yet, please subscribe to the channel. As I mentioned earlier, I'm getting close to 1,000 users on my channel. And you could be one of those. And I really appreciate it. So, till next time, bye.